As most of you are aware, almost all of Discord modifications for Android smartphones are either out of date or not being actively developed. However, there is a new Android modification that can be used similarly to Vencord. This is a fork of Vendetta, an older Android Discord modification. This one is called Bunny. So to install this, we can use Bunny Manager, which will install Bunny on our phone with all of its assets in one click. This saves us time, unless you want to build Bunny yourself from its source code. Go to the link provided in the video description to download Bunny Manager. Once there, scroll down and click on the manager.apk to download it. Once downloaded, you can install it like any other app on your phone. When you open Bunny Manager, you will be asked to grant it permission to download files. Grant the necessary permissions and click the Install button. As you can see, it's starting to download the Bunny and all of its resources. This may take some time, depending on your internet speed. Once everything is downloaded, it's time to install the Bunny. To do so, click the Launch button and install Bunny. The Bunny Discord modification will be opened once it has been installed. All right, now let's log into our Discord account. Once logged in, go to User Settings and scroll down to see if Bunny has been properly installed. If you see these Bunny settings, you have successfully installed the Bunny Discord modification. If you've seen any of my previous videos, you may remember my guide on turning on Discord experiments. Bunny now makes it possible to do so on your mobile device as well. To enable experiments, click Bunny and select Activate Discord Experiments. Now, if you go back to user settings and scroll down, you will see a new section like this where you can enable various experiments. All right, now to the best part, plugins. Yes, you can install plugins on Bunny to enhance your Discord experience. To install plugins, go to user settings and click on plugins. If you click on the install a plugin button, we can paste any plugin link to install. So where to find these plugins? Simply go to the link in the video description. Once you are there, you can see a huge list of available plugins that you can install on Bunny. Let's install this Freemoji plugin. You can copy the plugin link by clicking on this copy link button. Once copied, go back to Bunny, paste the plugin link, and hit the install button. As you can see, it successfully installed the Freemoji plugin. You can install any plugin from the plugin page in the same way. Bunny also supports custom themes. I will leave some theme links in the video description. To install a theme, go to User Settings and then Themes, just as you did when installing plugins. Click on Install a Theme button and paste the theme link. Hit the Install button, and the theme will be installed. To activate the theme, click on this tiny icon. As you can see, the theme has changed. You can install many themes and activate any of them from the theme section whenever you wish. So this is how you install Bunny on your Android mobile phone. If you have any questions, feel free to join my Discord server.